poor man was trying to escape, but met his end after a single savage attack. Guessing it wasn't suicide. I haven't known you long, but you mean so much to me. Well, 
I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Ah, oh, Keon did. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. I know why you wanted this case cracked. Found some clues in Becker's house. And you were close, weren't you? How dare you? I... He... He was special. A man you meet only once in life. He... understood me. I won't stop until I find those who did it. I'm sorry for your loss, Sam. And don't worry. I'm a private eye. Emphasis on the private. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. There's a link between all the victims. I found these cards in each house. A photography club membership. They all had them. Yeah. Seems like a good place to investigate. Thank you, Reed. I knew you'd find something. <laughs> I might pay this club a visit. See if there's anyone who has an issue with them. I got those photos you wanted. You got my compensation? Terrific, thank you. Uh, here, take this. Some of these were pretty horrible. I hope you find the killer. Me too, Reed. Me too. Take care. Hey, fella, what do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. Who are you? And what the drock do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Heard you can help with, uh, certain things. Hmm. <laughs> so you want a favor from me, Mr. Reed? And what would that be? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, <laughs> it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. 
My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? It must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's Whoa. in better shape. What gives? We 
We gotta dump this garbage. Papa Brood will be here any. Leaves open. This stain's almost gone. This stain's almost gone. I can't imagine it ended well for whoever lost all this blood. Biggest mirror exhibition in the history of Oakmont, including Master Randall's finest creations, his manor into a museum of vintage mirrors, collected over many decades. Somebody's been doing their homework.
Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. stinks even worse in the bodies. Uh, weeks have passed since this food was cooked.
Ugh, oh, what a stench. This poker has got to be covered in slime. And judging by the dried blood and the dent on this shovel, it was used as a weapon. <laughs> ah, it reeks to high heaven. What is this stuff? Someone tried to wash the stain out, but it's still slimy. Ugh, and stinks. <laughs> 